Hey, good morning. Good morning. Do you, do you smell a storm brewing? Sometimes you can smell rain in the air. Maybe. I don't know. Are, are we, what's going on? I, I feel like we're preparing for something big, something epic. You see uh, any animals walking two by two or by sevens? No? No? No. no. Well, well, I think the Bible promises that, that we won't have to uh, swim for it ever again. Well, they weren't able to swim for it. There was only one way out of that mess, and we're going to read about it today. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, you like my BBS shirt? Rescued by Jesus. We had a boat on that one, too. Yeah, that boat was going down. That boat was going down, but Jesus yep. was on it, so it did not. Yep. All right, let's sing our song. I gotta get rid of this life jacket. You can't play guitar with an overpins on? I can't play guitar with a life jacket on. All right. Oh, all right. I'll sing with mine on. This is the monkey song. By faith I believe God spoke most. 
Now, Noah was God's friend, which was odd in those days because no one else was. Noah listened to God. He talked to God. He just loved being with God like you do with your best friend. Know what God said? Things have gone wrong. People have filled my world with hate instead of love. They are destroying themselves and each other and my world. I must stop them. First, we'll build an ark. Do you know how to build an ark? Neither did Noah. Luckily, God knew and he would show him. I built a little boat with my daughter Abby once. Yes, that's true. Someday maybe we'll be go, able to go out on the river together and you can see it because we still have those little boats. We do. They're fun. It's a purple boat. A storm is coming, God told Noah, but I will rescue you, I promise. I'll send the animals to you, ones that creep and crawl and slither and slime and gallop and hop and bound and climb. And don't forget to pack everyone's food. The storm was going to wash away all the hate and sadness and everything that had gone wrong and make the world clean again. God had thought up a way to keep Noah safe, but Noah would have to trust God and do exactly what God told him. So Noah built an ark, short for a very large boat. I guess ark is short for a very large boat. <laughs> all right. Noah's neighbors- Was the Titanic an ark? No. It was just a big boat. It was just a big boat. It wasn't like the Ark of God because it didn't last. Right. It wasn't meant to save people. It wasn't. Okay. Okay. Where are we at? Um, okay. Right. Sure. So Very Noah, large. okay, yep. Yeah. Noah's neighbors came out to watch and point and laugh, right? Because. They didn't believe Noah about the boat, or the storm, or needing to be rescued. And Noah must have looked rather silly. His boat was in the desert, and the desert was nowhere near the sea, and there wasn't even a cloud in the sky. Why would anyone need an umbrella, let alone a boat? That's a big structure. Right on the dry land. There he is up there with his hammer and his pail. Oh, look at that picture. But Noah didn't mind so much what other people thought. He minded what God thought. So he just did what God told him to do. When the ark was ready, God said, all aboard. And Noah's family and all the animals climbed inside. And then God shut the door. So you know, everyone on the earth had an opportunity to go on that boat. Noah preached to them and he warned them. And it started raining for minutes that joined up into hours, that joined up into days, that joined up into weeks and weeks. And the rain joined up into puddles, that joined up into rivers, that joined up into lakes, that joined up into a flood that covered the whole world. Their boat that had once seemed so big suddenly seemed very small. But in the middle of the huge storm and the crashing waves and all the thunder and lightning through it all, God was with them. And God kept them safe for 40 long days and 40 long nights. Finally, the rain stopped. The sun came out and Noah threw open the windows. Hooray, everyone shouted. Noah sent his dove out to explore and it wasn't long before she brought him back a fresh olive leaf. Everyone knew exactly what that meant. She had found a tree and land. The water was going down. At last the boat landed quite suddenly on top of a great mountain. As soon as it was safe, God said, out you come. And so they did. Everyone skipping and dancing onto dry land. The first thing Noah did was thank God for rescuing them just as he had promised. And the first thing God did was make another promise. I won't ever destroy the world again. And like a warrior who puts away his bow and arrow at the end of a great battle, God said, see, I have hung up my bow in the clouds. See that? That boat's kind of precarious on that mountain. Yes, it is. And there in the clouds, just where the storm 
meets the sun was a beautiful bow made of light. It was a new beginning in God's world. It wasn't long before everything went wrong again, but God wasn't surprised. He knew this would happen. That's why before the beginning of time, he had another plan, a better plan, a plan not to destroy the world, but to rescue it, a plan to one day send his own son, the rescuer. God's strong anger against hate and sadness and death would come down once more, but not on his people or his world, no. God's war bow was not pointing down at his people, it was pointing up into the heart of heaven. That's it for today. That's it for today. Mm. Whew, sin is nasty. Yeah. Sin is nasty, but God has a plan, and he has a plan to rescue. We are not stuck. We're not stuck like a boat on top of a mountain. No, we're not stuck like a boat on a mountain. Yeah. And the Bible does teach it that the earth will be destroyed again with fire, and that God will rescue his people who are willing to come into his sanctuary of his church and, um, and be safe. And so I'm grateful for that. Yeah. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, thank you so much for your rescue plan for all who are willing to listen to the voice of your prophets and to the voice of the Bible and your Holy Spirit and even nature. The animals went into the ark. Nature obeyed your law. So Lord, may we listen to that and not just go with the popular opinion May we put our anchor in something more sure than what's, what's popular and what everybody is doing. May we listen for your voice and be brave to follow it like Noah was. And we thank you for your rainbow of grace for us as humans. You put it up there between the storm and, um, and heaven. Thank you so much. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. See you tomorrow. Goodbye.